We do have a trade alert on this because uh, Bill Baruch, uh, investment committee member, joins us now. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming on. You bought more Caterpillar, in fact, um, and you bought more Wabtech. Let's talk about those first before we get to the sell. Why Cat? You know, Caterpillar, it didn't react well to earnings because of the declining backlog, but it was a good earnings report for that quarter. And as Joe said, it's, it's hanging by a thread. What I'm seeing from my, my levels and, and the uptrend is still intact. And the strong close last week, I think, is going to be uh, provide some momentum. Looking at 220, 230. But think about the infrastructure spending, the delays in the in, uh, Re Inflation Reduction Act, emerging markets that are going to be spending more money, and then the onshoring here in the U.S. I think there's just a number of tailwinds as we look to the quarters ahead uh, that this, this name should perform. Let's not forget, we're just one quarter removed that it set a record high after a strong report. So I think in the coming months, we'll see it bounce back pretty well. All right. So you're playing to be a little early, maybe. Uh, or, you know, not pay so much attention to any of the, the macro data, thinking more big picture. Wabtech, W-A-B, why? I mean, they're in the locomotive space and freight and rails for passengers and freight. And, you know, I, I think that's just a terrific place to be. And 60 percent of the revenues, you know, cover their or 60 reoccurring revenues cover 60 percent of their profits. I think that's a really nice thing to look at, especially if we go through, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of a slowdown. Although I don't think we'll have a hard landing, I think we'll be soft or really no landing at all. So I, I do want to add to, to some momentum here. Um, the, the report there was pretty good over to about two weeks ago, and it brought it out of the gut. So, again, I think some strong momentum. It's a place to be. And, I mean, if you look at any place that needs infrastructure uh, rebuilding and, and, and continue uh, investment is the locomotive space. So I think that's, I think that's really a great. But this is a three-part play uh, as well. Yeah, well, you sold RTX. Is that taking advantage of a, a stock that popped? It was up 5% and it, last week, and it's up almost 19% in a month. Yeah, so that's the part of the three-part play here, taking uh, RTX off the table and putting that cash to work and concentrating that in the industrials. Remember, go back to the middle of the summer, it fell out with the Pratt & Whitney, their engine defect. The stock was down as much as 30%. It bounced back after earnings. It had a $10 billion repurchase. So we've come back. It's only down about 15% from where it was in the summer. So I'm using that as an opportunity to take a step back here. I mean, really, at the end of the day, I mean, look at the geopolitics. I mean, this is we're in a knife's edge in any any sharper than than where we were since the Cold War. And RTX has really underperformed. So I want to get out of that stock and, and watch it for a bit and concentrate on the two names that I like the most right now in the industrial industrial space. That's Caterpillar uh, and Wabtech. Okay, good stuff. Bill, thank you. We'll see you soon. Bill Baruch with a trade alert for us. All right, so we talked industrials. Now, Bryn, let's talk banks. Um, Goldman is a laggard today thank out of you. the Dow. Uh, the KBE, best week since November of 2020. The KRE, regionals, best week since November of 20 also. What about the banks here? I mean, has any, talking about the regional banks, has anyone made any money on the regionals, you know, since SVB pit failed? I mean, I see so many of the na these names are still at those depressed levels. Yes, they rallied last week. But here's what you want to think. Regional banks are what? Very highly sensitive to the U.S. economy. Is the economy slowing? Most likely. Are deposits increasing at the banks? No. Are loans increasing at the banks? Regional banks, no. And is the, is the regulatory environment getting easier or worse? Probably worse. And so I think also with the come up, come up of private credit really stepping in to do a lot of these loans that the regional banks used to do, I still think that from a, an ETF, from across the board, it's too early to buy these banks. I still think too many of them don't have a catalyst outside of valuations, which is never a good catalyst to make a stock go higher. So I think you want to be patient and wait till next year.